Whitechapel Station was originally opened in 1876 as part of the East London Railway. The new Crossrail Whitechapel Station has been delivered by a joint venture between Balfour Beatty, Morgan Sindel and Vonsey Construction. The station is designed for 99,000 passengers a day and is one of the 10 new Crossrail stations and one of the five main central London stations. Whitechapel is a main interchange station providing connection to the wider TfL network to the London Overground and London Underground and from the new Elizabeth line you will be able to get to Canary Wharf in three minutes, Tottenham Court Road in seven minutes and Heathrow in 36 minutes. The new station has 10 lifts and three escalators and for the first time a Whitechapel station will provide step-free access. This is um, extremely important because directly across the road from the station is the internationally renowned Royal London Hospital. The new station concourse uh, is situated above the operational London Underground and London Overground um, tracks and platform. So we have the upper concourse uh, which spans on a new bridge over the top of the London Underground and London Overground platforms and then the lower concourse which is suspended above the London Overground cutting uh, supported off the existing trackside walls. The complication of working above the operational railway is that at Whitechapel there would have been between 50 and 60,000 people every day using the station, whether that's entry and exit or interchange. Uh, and we have had to construct the new concourse, the new station areas, while not affecting any of those members of the public, uh, not affecting LU's um, or the London Overground's operational railway either. So with all the um, possessions and engineering hours, we have successfully handed back without any impact to uh, their operations, no late handbacks or, or late running of trains. Um, and then with all the encapsulation that we have installed, that's allowed us to progress our works on day shift again without uh, affecting the members of the public. So that's really been one of the, the, the main challenges on this, on this project. The structure is um, of steel work uh, and approximately 2,800 tonnes of steel was lifted in um, on possessions and engineering hours. That was followed by the reinforced concrete slabs of which there's probably about 2,000, 2,500 square metres. The new Crossrail station at Whitechapel will be a great asset for the local area and I'm pleased to announce that it's been awarded a Bream Certificate of Very Good. BREAM is the Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Model and it's a way of certifying new structures and buildings to demonstrate their environmental sustainability credentials. There's loads of stuff that you can't really see, the low energy light bulbs and the fact that we've used lots of material from sustainable sources, wood from sustainably managed forests, aggregates from, with sustainable certification. Then there's the stuff that you can see, the solar cells on the top of Durwood Street shaft, there's the green roof, part of the roof has been planted with sedum and the sedum plants will really enhance the biodiversity of the area. The escalators which lead us down to the new Elizabeth Line platforms have got a dual speed which means that at quiet times they will switch to a low energy mode. It's a fantastic example of some of the things that have been carried out on this project. The legacy of the Whitechapel project isn't just in the structure of this station, but it's also in our investment in the local area, with the local community and also supporting local apprentices. Throughout the years in this project, we have supported numerous local staff and apprentices to secure skills and training that have helped them not only on this project, but also secure roles going forward after this, helping us ensure that our legacy isn't only in the structure of this station, but it's also in securing people's futures as well.